Hi everyone, this is Joe Guzzo, and you're watching Folk Project Television. Now, before I get to the music today, I just want to make a few comments about the start of 2021. I'm sure, like myself, many of you think that the uh, new year is going to be better than the last one, right? Well, already I'm having some doubts as to the accuracy of that thought. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that things aren't improving, or certain things at least. However, we do have some strange things going on. In addition to the vaccines that are, came, that are coming out and the treatments that are going to help end the pandemic and save some lives, um, and spring is just around the corner, um, I still have to ask, what's happening, America? I mean, 2021 hardly began, and here we had a mob invading the seat of our government, and there's um, a call out for the impeachment of the president again, or ex-president, whatever that means, and the number of Americans still getting sick and dying from COVID-19 seems to be out of control. Um, our, everybody loves Bruce Springsteen, and even he got in trouble. He, his Super Bowl commercial gets pulled because he was allegedly drunk driving. And um, as if that's not enough, Puxatoni Phil said we're going to have another six weeks of winter. I mean, really? You know, it makes me wonder what the rest of the year is going to be like. Now, if you can see over my shoulder on this side, actually, you can see probably better. You can see there's some pretty big icicles hanging out there. Now, some of the ones you can't see, which are over in that direction in front of my office window, are probably about five or six foot long and that big around and have um, pretty good heft to them. If any of those fall and there's anybody or anything underneath it, it's going to wipe it out. It's just going to do some major damage. So I think that even the weather is after us. Oh, and there's more bad weather coming tonight. So, I mean, just, but, you know, I, you probably don't want to hear that. You probably say, all right, enough complaining. Uh, let's hear some music. So, okay, I can get along with that. Let's go. Artie Tram was a child of New York, born and raised in the Bronx. And he became a part of the New York music scene in the late 1950s. Now, he was not just a performer. His talents ran from guitarist and songwriter all the way through to producer. Now, tragically, he died in 2008 of liver cancer. But I just have to wonder how much more he would have given us had he survived. Now. I'm very glad that he did some music for us in the Horses Sing None of It program. And we got some things out of the archive. And you're about to hear four songs from a show that debuted on August 25th of 1999, 22 years ago, or 21 and a half years. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Let's give a listen to Artie Tramp.
Now, you mentioned this to me right before the show, and uh, in fact, I've sung this song about twice in the last 10 years, really? so I'm hoping I can get through it. But <laughs> this is the very first song I ever wrote. Um, and it's kind of interesting to me that it, I think it still holds up, because it, it's really an early, early song for me. I wrote it when I was like 18 or something, and it, that was about uh, was at least five or six years ago. <laughs> time of all down the hill there's a rabbit running in a circle I have known down below the crazy rabbit runs dry land has no water the earth will bake and dry before my Poison snake is in the coolest corner and it's rolled into a dusty disguise. Down the hill, there's a rabbit running to a trap that I have known. Down below, the crazy rabbit runs. so thirsty the earth cracks open like a broken shell a hungry snake is gonna show no mercy when it moves in for the kill down the hill there's a rabbit running to a trap that I have known down below the crazy rabbit runs Down below the crazy rabbit runs So it's called Niagara. At the bar, all the border guards are having a ball. Newlyweds next door, they're knocking down the walls. These border town, water towns, they always make me think of you. Well, if you would come and see me in this tourist town, I'd love you like the waterfall crashing down. Pull yourself together, girl, and help me get a message through. I said, whoa, Niagara, well, please don't make me go. My feet start flying when you start crying and the water starts to flow. Said, I lose my mind every time I see that waterfall. Niagara, won't you hear me call? I 
got a honeymoon suite in a cheap hotel. I got a big double bed all to myself. You know, I'm talking to the TV and I'm staring at the telephone. When your old water works a working girl, I can't stay. I need help, but I can't help her run away. I can't quit. I'm thinking about you all alone. I said, whoa, Niagara, well, please don't make me go. My feet start flying when you start crying and the water starts to flow. Said I lose my mind every time I see that waterfall. Oh, Niagara, won't you hear me call? Call for me now. Oh, that's it. Now it's hard to forget that I'm the reason you cried. Those power lines are buzzing like my foolish pride. There's a ball of white water, but it only makes this body blue. Well, I'm hanging on tight with all the strength I can find. Forgive me half a minute, I got half a mind. I'm gonna jump into a barrel and go over these falls for you. I said, whoa, Niagara, well, please don't make me go. My feet start flying when you start crying, that water starts to flow. Said I lose my mind every time I see that waterfall. I said, oh, Niagara, won't you hear me call? I said, whoa, Niagara, won't you hear me? Said, whoa, Niagara, won't you hear me? Said, whoa, Niagara, won't you hear me call? I keep thinking this is the kind of song that's really hard to end, you know? <laughs> I don't know, you've ever heard my James Taylor ending to this? It's like, oh, Niagara, won't you hear me call? Cause I'm showering the people I love at Niagara Falls. <laughs> showering the people at Niagara Falls. Shower the people you know. <laughs> Niagara. Cool. Great. In 1969, in the sleepy little town of Clinton, New Jersey, which is out that window right now behind me, Greg Cagno began his life. Now, since the early 1990s, he's been making beautiful music for people throughout North America to enjoy. He has great skill writing songs that have deep meaning and has an unbelievably rich baritone voice. If you're anything like me, I know you're going to enjoy his music. So you can find out more about Greg if you're interested, which I'm sure you will be once you hear him, at his website, which is www.gregcagno.com. Now, he has supported or opened for some pretty big name acts in the past. Among them are folks like James Taylor, who I think he sounds a lot like. The band America. Richie Havens, Pete Seeger, Poco, and many, many more. And audiences across America have been fortunate to be able to see him perform. Can't wait till the pandemic is over so we can get back to seeing him live. But here's your chance to enjoy some of his music. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Greg Cagno. Caught just a glimpse of her this morning As the door slid open on the train She smiled at me through the crowd Like an angel through the clouds that filled my brain I spent the morning in that moment they dreamed away the afternoon Stared in the space, biding my time The ride home on the Kumana line Can't come too soon I look for her in Monte Santo 
And all the way to Paisani, I'll pray that she'll come sit with me for the slow ride home. And just a chance of her appearance makes me feel so much less alone. Caught just a glimpse of our future, of her walking by my side. Sweet music of her laugh, her beauty splitting me in half, dressed as my bride. Then just a glimpse of a life together, her and I and a little one. Living in a distant land, so close together, hand in hand, my wife and son. And we'd wait for her in Monte Santo. All the way to Paisani, together as a family for the long ride. Just to have them beside me makes me feel so much more alive. Train screeched and I awaken. Realized I dreamed right past my place. Just a glimpse that filled my mind. Riding on the Kumana line when I saw her face. Just a glimpse that filled my mind. It still happens every time I see your face. Still muted? And there we go. Riffin' time. Riffin' time. Nine. There you go. For years this riff's been rolling around, been on stage in many a town. Charmed the ladies down in New Orleans, funked them up in Astoria, Queens. There's good reason why it's familiar to you. It's one thing this riff isn't is new. When Blind Lemon Jefferson wasn't looking, a young Robert Johnson up and took it. Howl and Wolf heard him try down Gertie's. Hiding in the corner, getting down and dirty. Later that night, Jelly Roll got a hold, standing at the Wolf's window, listening in the cold. Cutie led better, picked it up in the joint. Off a kid from Jersey who didn't get the point. On a railroad in this land, Hudy taught Woody. And he hacked through and spread it fast as he could. Pete Seeger even plunked it out on the banjo and got B.B. King up and started on the mojo. For years this riff's been rolling around, been on stage in many a town. Trying to lay it down to New Orleans and funked him up in Astoria, Queens. There's good reason why it's familiar to you. It's so one thing this riff isn't is new. Dylan copped it off a of Buddy Holly demo, which wound up in the hands of McCartney and Lennon. George taught him how to play it and called them both wankers. Then tried it on the sitar and taught Ravi Shankar. Ravi broke it out, showing off a of Bonnie Ray. Faded it to a skin for a Tom Waits. For years, this riff's been rolling around, been on stage in a many a town. Chopped the ladies down in New Orleans, and bumped them up in Astoria, Queens. There's good reason why it's familiar to you. It's one thing this riff isn't as new. Tradition passed along, no one keeping score. As if it sounds that good, good chance that it's been done before, yeah.
made its way through the late night scenes. Campfire circles, open mic dreams. Traditional riffage carried through time. By studious pickers, hit and rewind. I heard it first in a steamroller blues. I swiped it right up, now I'm sharing it with you. This riff's been rolling around Been on stage in a many a town Charmed the ladies down in New Orleans And funked them up in a story of Queens There's good reason why it's familiar to you It's one thing this riff isn't as new <laughs> Can I say that? I guess so <laughs> Beat me out if you have to. This is called Worth the Wait. Because I'm no spring chicken, but I found my wife. <laughs> I go see her shows, and she uh, she's meticulous about cleaning up at the end of the night. You know, she likes to get all her stuff lined up for the next show, you know. So I'm usually the guy waiting outside the longest. She's the last one out. Oh, didn't fish the button. Take two, sorry about that. She's the last one out when the show is done. There were others here with flowers, now I'm the only one. Left leaning on the wall, left staring at the stage door. She may be late, but she's right on time for sure. She's worth the wait in the cold. When I see her walk my way She's worth her weight in gold You know I would wait all day She's worth the wait She's the last one in, now this search is done. There were others here before her, now she's the only one. Right beside my name, inside my everything. I may be slow, but her fingers in the ring. It's worth the wave growing old. When I see my wife She's worth her weight in gold you No, know I waited all my life She's worth the weight While we have this time And we're of sound mind Let us seize this dance Let us take this chance It's worth the wait growing old Just to see my wife She's worth her weight in gold No, I waited all my life She's worth the wait She's worth the wait Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Unique songwriting method. Well, you know, I've never heard of that being used before. It's kind of, uh, it's a renaissance, you know, renaissance <laughs> thing, you know. View from here. Well, I ask 
asked Michelangelo how he could bear Lie on his back for months and stare at the ceiling He painted with particular care He said the view of the nuns was amazing from there Sight of the sisters in stark silent rows Fall of a paint drop and upturned face from below the view from here it takes your breath now, honey. View from here leaves you wallow. View from here shuts you up now, honey. View from here you're halfway home. Joan of Arc gave one last sigh. Broke across her chest, flame licked her eye. Crowd in the distance, no big surprise. Last view through to the by and by. Steam from her teardrops, wrists all back and bent. Shake of her shoulder, she said, Oh, that's what you meant. That's it for today's show, folks. That's all I have. However, we will be back in two more weeks with a new show, hopefully with a live guest or some sort of guest. If not, we'll have more music from the Horses Sing None of It archives. Now, I know that everybody's getting tired of hearing about the pandemic and being asked to, you know, take care and be wash your hands and wear a mask, you know. But, you know, we've come this far, so why not go a little bit further. Let's keep doing the things we need to do to stay alive and keep our families safe. Even if you don't want to do something because you're kind of tired of it, think about the others who your actions could affect. Let's make sure you do wear that mask if you go outside. In fact, now they're recommending double masking if you can do it. Also, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after handling anything from outside your home, even if you go to your mailbox. And finally, social distancing is very, very important. If you can avoid going inside a building, do so. If it's unavoidable, make sure you maintain a good distance between yourself and other persons. And, again, the mask. Try to make sure that you're doing everything possible to come out of this alive. I'd like to see you at a getaway function sometime in the future. And we're not going to open up until we feel it's safe, so... If you keep an eye on our web pages, you'll see when it looks like the board of directors here at the Folk Project feel it's a 
bit safer to go out. Of course, we're not experts either, so we're going to be going by the medical experts and people out there that know what to do about a pandemic and how to avoid getting sick. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you will be back for the next one. Until then, just keep that peace in your heart, because that'll get you through all this. Oh, and enjoy some good music as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.